And here she is, pre-delivery. She's looking pretty good. If you ever wondered about the white, it's actually a pearl white versus an arctic white. But first glance, looking really good. Panel gaps, things of that nature. Uh, optical illusion. Dual motor with the red line, baby. Performance. Modelli. Modelli. Model Y. Because. All right, first blush. Looking good. Looking good. Not paint related, some kind of fuzz. Looking good. So, number 105. There it is. In the neighborhood. Let's give you a peek around. The Tesla Service Center, Miami Gardens. I'll take you out for a walk. Back to the desk. Here I am at the Tesla place in Miami Gardens. It's a beautiful place in a terrible location. I don't know if you know where Miami Gardens is, but think the heart of downtown as difficult to get into and out of, and that's where this place would be. And I'm doing something today. Hello everyone, Dan here. I'm doing something today I never thought I would do. And that is, I am getting myself a Tesla. And I blame the Hertz rental, the Model 3. That was a fantastic vehicle. So smooth, so refined, so, so seamless. Just like Apple, it just works. And so I went ahead and I'm picking up today a Tesla Model Y. And there's people in the Model Y that's here. They just waiting for them to get out. And this one's a the new Model 3 Highlands. Well, they don't call it the Highland. They just call it a Model 3, but anyway, I'm getting a Model Y. It's a white 
version. It's going to be a performance version. So the performance version has red calipers and Uber turbine wheels. Uh, these are something else, I forget exactly. Also going to have a black interior because I demoed a white interior. And it's just, there's so much, it's so bright inside. It's not glare per se. But the Model 3 rental had a black interior. And that was a lot better for me. Feels magnetic. If you think it's big, a large vehicle, it is a bit large. <laughs> it's officially an SUV, so. Modelli. Just so you know, I brought some goodies with me. I brought some detailing supplies for cleaning. I brought a screen protector that I got off Amazon, a Spigen, the matte screen protector. And then I have just some other goodies that I got from Spigen. I wonder if this is real in any way. Or if it's just like a 3D printed model. Those actuators look real. Well, not the actuators, but the hinges. Alright, let's check in with the delivery guy. And now she is transformed. The key cards are inside. The plate is inside. Registration is inside. Look at that. Look at that. It's a work of art. A work of art, baby. Beautiful. And here we are, baby. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> All right, let's start checking things. It's looking really good. First impressions are quite positive. Well, the window works. Always a good thing. Especially with a car with 15 miles. So the seat works electrically. I wonder if it goes back. No. No, just down.
coming out cold. So the AC works. I mean, you know, besides the fan. RGYZ85, it's kind of a cool random plate. Where are we? Where are we, baby? Come on, talk to me. Let's see. Full with the plastic later. Well, everything seems to be here, including the tow hook. So that's nice. This is this is rubber. Matches up with this rubber. So that's cool. Looking pretty solid. There's a tighter gap over there than over here. Nothing I'm going to stress about. Check out this door. It's looking good. Okay, one touch down. And it appears to be a double pane. Let's see if I can get it without casting a shadow. Sort of. Touch up, one touch down. Power passenger seat. I wonder if that's a performance thing. Seals look good. Little something I can clean off there. Okay. all the way, fully functional, bird poop, so needs a clean up, but that was entirely expected. Alright, take it easy there. Still haven't figured out the trunk. I only touched it. Let me see if I. Yeah, okay. All right. What do we have in here? Nothing. <laughs> uh, an adapter. Let's put that in a different location. interesting and this so that's how it that's how it folds up which is cool all right now to test this all right it doesn't doesn't go down yes it does also does fantastic does it come up? No. And then this, does this work? Let's see. Yes, it does. All right, window test. Okay, window test, window test window test. All fully functional. All fully functional. All the switch gear. That 
particular switch gear works. All right. Okay. This guy. <laughs> he made the effort to get out of the way, but somebody has entered the building. All right, we'll be right back. We're going to open up our suitcase here and get our GoPros. Be right back. To give you an idea of what's actually in here, we have some window cleaner and just general interior cleaner. Not all-purpose cleaner. It's a much milder cleaner. A... Milwaukee Tools M12 tire pressure pump. And then here, I have my GoPro set up. And then GoPro mount for the glass roof and some window towels. The Valentine One radar detector. And then a screen protector down here. And I haven't decided yet if I want to install all this stuff. Let's stick with the GoPro. Be right back. All right, everyone. Take you on for a little ride here. Get the GoPro all set up. Hero session five. We are recording. Calibration, huh? It's just the throttle granularity is awesome. Turning radius, not so much. And I don't want to curb rash like so many other people seem to do. A little bit of evidence on there already. Oh, I forgot about this. It's so loud. <laughs> All right, get used to this region. In the meantime, check out Iggy the iguana. It's a big sucker. Supercharger connection. First for us. 197 kW. Now, supposedly, this is seven minutes remaining to continue the trip to the next supercharger, the Mikasuki one. So, we'll see. Might sit here a little while just to chillax and play.